welcome back Reapples. And as you can see, I am back. Now I'm playing Soundtrack Online, but I finally was able to get a Star Trek t-shirt. Uh, I've been wanting a t-shirt like this for a while, where it's the, uh, you know, uh, the more classic look from the original series, but it's, it's actually, it was a promotional uh, thing apparently Kellogg's did. Uh, with the cereal and, di and different stuff where I guess there was some points or something where either you could get this or if you got were able to get this you get like points or something anyway I saw it on eBay uh, it was a really good price uh, someone was uh, selling it so I uh, you know I got because I, I don't have anything against Star Trek I have you know I have a Star Wars t-shirt I have a Tron t-shirt I have a Batman t-shirt you know I have uh, Superman like all these all these guys but I don't I never had anything of Star Trek, so, uh, you know, why not? So it was basically a promotional thing for, um, uh, the, the, fir uh, the first J.J. Abrams new Star Trek, you know, sort of, uh, movies, you know, with, uh, Chris Pine and, uh, Zachary Quinto and all those guys, uh, you know, Star Trek and then Star Trek Into Darkness, Star Trek Beyond, that sort of line, but the first one of those, the first Star Trek, you know, Reboot, I guess. Uh, movie. This was a promotion. This T-shirt uh, they gave us promotion with the, the Kellogg cereal and other Kellogg products. So, uh, you know, I was actually able to get it for a uh, fairly good price. So th it was. It just came in uh, yesterday, and it was just kind of cool. I was able to wear it because again, I never had anything uh, Star Trek for uh, T-shirts and uh, or really anything. So it was, uh, I was kind of excited to get it, and I figured, you know what? Now I have a T-shirt whenever I stream uh, Star Trek uh, games. I can now wear it, and uh, you know, it makes me happy that I'm able to actually have the have something to wear whenever. Because I, I even Halo 2 I have a Halo 2 T-shirt when I stream Halo uh, games, but uh, you know, or even just to wear. But yeah, now I got I got Star Trek. All right, I've been catching up on the Next Generation just because I I mean, uh, in 1990 I was born basically. So, uh, from 1990, you know, I think it went, uh, sorry, um, Next Generation went on for seven seasons, eight seasons? It started in the 80s, I believe. So, f you know, f throughout those years, uh, I missed a bunch, but I caught a lot of reruns, uh, when I was growing up. Also, of course, the original series, so I got a little bit of the original, then a little bit of Next Generation, but I never really watched, I was never able to see, like, all of them. So, uh, of course, with Netflix, uh, I was able to watch the original series from start to finish, and then um, we're, and I uh, did um, uh, Star Trek Enterprise because it's supposed, to, you know, it's basically before the original series. So I'm like, all right, I want to see stuff from, the, you know, in the timeline, the early parts of, in, in the Star Trek timeline. So I'm like, all right, I'll watch. Uh, I, I started to watch the original series because I just wanted to see all of it. Uh, and then I'm like, okay, so I'll watch uh, Star Trek Enterprise. But then there was a part where it actually had, like, a Next Generation stuff in it, like, at the end of the show of uh, Enterprise. The, they actually had stuff from Next Generation. I'm like, ah, I haven't seen Next Generation, so I'm going to stop here and I'll watch all the Next Generation then go back to the Enterprise one wherever it makes sense in the in the timeline so but of course with the next generation i want to do it with all the timeline correctly so any crossovers like from voyager or deep space nine that means i have to watch like part of <laughs> next generation then watch part of these uh deep space nine and then whenever they cross over and then watch that and then whenever voyager sh starts like you know i'm trying to watch in a chronological chronological order as much as possible in the actual timeline of the show in the universe of uh Dear chick. So, you know, it's a little. So, hopefully, it stays there on Netflix for that time. So, we slowly catching up I'm on uh, season four. Next generation. Let's get this started. Uh, season four, next generation. So, you know, I still have uh, a lot to, to catch up. So, I'm kind of in the Star Trek mood. So, I'm like, you know what? Star Trek Online. Plus, I kind of occasionally play Star Trek Online to do my daily. Things of getting energy credits and dilithium crystals and all that fun stuff like mining dilithium crystals and I'm trying to then co convert the dilithium crystals to Zen, which I then I can I can actually buy stuff 
uh, without having to use real money. Because um, I would just rather not have to spend all my money. <laughs> like, I might spend, like, because five bucks is base. It's four ninety nine, so five dollars. I think it's four ninety nine. Uh, well, I guess you could check it. Hey, it looks like I got stuff, but here, uh, what is it for? Here it is, four ninety nine. So like five, five or so, so dollars. Uh, I can basically buy some Zen, like five hundred Zen, to get certain things. Uh, but you know, I just figured I'll, uh, you know, I'll just uh, get it uh, that way just by playing the game. Without having to spend all my money, and whenever I can't afford to spend some money, like five dollars or whatever, then like okay. But uh, it, you know, I'm just starting to starting to get more into this because now that I have my external hard drive, my one terabyte external hard drive, I can actually keep all these games on, and uh, you know, it uh, just uh, makes me happy. I know, keep playing these games I want to pl haven't played in a while, or games I haven't played yet. Like Warframe, I want to get into that. And I've been wanting to play with uh, BG Rising's Minion. Or is it? No. Uh, yeah, and then it's BG Rising's Kid. Yeah, BG Rising Kid, well, both of them. They're, they're, they're sisters. BG Rising's Kid and BG Rising's Minion are, uh, are sisters. So, you know. Uh, it's like, oh, and they both play, uh, at least, either. Well, they both play, play the game. I don't know if they want to. You know, play it. Uh, you know, if they haven't played it recently, I don't know. But I'm wanting to at least play with them and, and play that game in general. But of course, the whole hard drive situation, I could not. But you know. Anyways, uh, obviously I've played enough that I'm a rank 60. <laughs> but uh, yeah. But yeah. So uh, you know, and I'm able to do s some slight uh, changes to my to my crew. My bridge officers um, and whatnot, but uh, yeah, but I still need to continue the story. I haven't finished the story at all, but I've act, but you know, I've uh, just went ahead and uh, did it. it. Basically, was just a lot of um, deep space encounters. You just get, you know, experience from that, and then I started to use my duty officers and whatnot. So I don't have a lot. Oh, I could sell this. That's it. Uh, I, as you can see, I'm also trying to sell some stuff as well. So that way I can, uh, let's go with, eh, not too much. That's the other thing I found out, is to not, like, sell your stuff for too much if you just want to get rid of it. I just need energy credits just so I can eventually, uh, I eventually want to, uh, get, uh, the Kelvin timeline, uh, Enterprise, basically. And, uh, where is it? It'd be under here. Here, uh, it's, so we just search. But see, the weird thing was, if I had started this earlier, where I actually was trying to get energy credits, you know, on a somewhat daily basis or at least weekly basis, uh, I would have been able to uh, to get it because it was only like a million uh, energy credits, and now they're selling it. People are selling it for like, uh, well, as you can see, you know, 80, 80 million, a hundred million. Uh, for <laughs> like it's so so much more expensive now than it was when the first uh, you know was brought to the uh, uh, console version of Star Trek Online. So I got six million so far, and so I'm just uh, doing what I can to actually uh, accomplish what I would like to accomplish. So I'm just doing you know um, the. Uh, the daily tour of the galaxy. Uh, actually, I don't know if I uh, I'll probably do this. Oh yeah, I do have some mail here. What do I have? Ah, uh, uh, all these are all expired. Dang it. Uh. Oh, one thing sold. That's good. Uh, so expire, expire, expire. Some of these I understand why they expired. Uh, I'll deal with some of these later. Uh, I'll Oh, I am near. I'm right here. Oh, I guess I have to actually do this. But anyways, all right, there. Because eh, eh, eh. so I'm starting to get used to the this game more, understanding it and whatnot. That's what I want to do. I want to do this, 
Yes, get some energy credits. All right. Uh, da -da -da -da. Yes. Okay. So I'm gonna do my daily things that I normally do, and then I will. Uh... Oh yeah, check these. So uh, again, duty officers are starting to do more, and you, uh, that's also another way to get more. Uh, no, more energy uh, credits, more, um, just more stuff. Uh, uh, here it is. Yes, that's... Okay, that, yeah, this is one of yeah, that's right. Okay. So, uh, da -da -da -da. you can see I'm getting a bunch of stuff here. I try to get as much dilithium crystal as possible. So that I can change it for Zen. But, of course, trying to get stuff that has energy credits as well. You know. You know how it is. Uh, I just got a bunch of stuff. All right. So then you go here. Yeah. All right. So that's getting good. Of course, I have a bunch of this, which means I can actually. Uh, oh, there's ten of these, eh? Oh wow. Oh, I see. Okay. So I'm just gonna yeah. get that. Oh yeah, that's right, dilithium mining too. So, uh, at first, it's funny, at first I, I got like a bunch of these, uh, these, um, mining claims, but I was gonna actually try to sell some of these, but I accidentally, uh, accepted them instead of, uh, selling them, but it was actually kind of a good thing, because that means I'm actually able to get, uh, a lot more dilithium crystals, so I didn't, I, I didn't really know how it all worked out, or how much... I could get or like whatever I didn't or I didn't think of really doing that uh, to start just to individually be mining them but you know it turns out it's actually a good thing that I'm doing this uh, anyways All right, so I think it's really everything I need to do here So I've changed my uniform from what I had before. I've also was able to get, uh, finally would be the Kelvin timeline, uh, uniforms. Uh, again, the J.J. Abrams uh, rebooted movies, whatever alternate timeline movies, I guess, really is what they are. But uh, uh, yes. But yeah, I don't know. It's uh, it's kind of cool. I kind of like this game. Of course, I of course to me to the 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 world of, of uh, Star Trek, I like it. Uh, oh yeah, let's get some here if I go here. But um, in the fact that it is free to play, as in I don't have to pay for the game. Oh, I don't have to pay for the game. Uh, the only things I pay for is certain things in game, but technically I can still play the game without having to buy anything. Or, really, is what I'm starting to do is just to do the in game stuff like mining uh, dilithium crystals so then I can transfer those, which is the in game currency, and then I can buy stuff in game without having to spend any of my own uh, actual money. Oh, let's see. Let's, oh, yeah, this is just telling me so let's, see, let's check these guys out. See, I'd like to get this a little bit more, but of course, it takes out lithium crystals. But I kind of want to make sure I get some more Zen. So, I mean, just in case I want to get something or whatever. Uh, oh, yeah, what am I doing? It's mission. <laughs> so, after I do these daily things, like the asteroid mining, uh, the lithium mining, which is. Uh, uh, is it ast yeah, asteroid mining and dilithium mining are basically the same thing, except with the uh, dilithium crystal claim, you get more. Uh, but either way, I'm, I'm just saving stuff up. Anyways, you're two of the galaxy. This is an easy way to get credits, energy credits. Uh, I like to go here because it's just quicker to get. Uh, once, uh, yeah, this thing. Okay. And just, uh, you know. 
I mean, some of this is a bit tedious in some ways. In some ways it could be relaxing for some people, because all you're doing is just flying around, you're getting stuff. Uh, but of course, I would like to work on the actual uh, episodes, as they're called, the actual uh, missions. But the idea is that if I level up my, my, you know, my character, then I'm able to be a little bit better with the defense and other things. But of course, uh, I like this ship that I have, and I could, of course, get other ships, which I technically got one, but it didn't go any more powerful, right? I actually got a Galaxy-class starship. Yeah, I tried to do a mission uh, by myself, and it's like, nope, not working. So, uh, it's like none of my weapons had any effect, any more effect than what I have now, so. Uh, obviously, you, with the Galaxy class Starship, you have more weapons at a time. Uh, but, I don't know, I just like the look of the Constitution class cruiser, or just the cruiser in general, so. So, you know, I just kind of stick with that. That's just me. Okay, good, now let's go here. Uh, but yeah, I find in the Alpha Quadrant it's easier to get the these done faster, because it's just a smaller... It's smaller than what the, what the Beta Quadrant is. For getting this done. Oh, look we got here, got Crazy Mike V. Welcome to stream, Venture Stop by. Go Team Star, please. He's a Starfleet officer. <laughs> uh, oh yeah, so I don't know if you noticed, but I kind of have a, <coughs> a certain Star Trek shirt. Uh, I actually got this uh, yesterday in the mail from eBay. Uh, someone was actually uh, selling this for a fairly good price and very reasonable. I'm like, ah, I don't have anything in Star Trek for t-shirts or anything, so... Uh, you know, so I figure I get it. This is actually a promotion from Kellogg, uh, from Kellogg cereal and the Kellogg product. You bought it? Yes, I did. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it's a promotion for the first J.J. Abrams movie, Star Trek, and then you know the one Star Trek, Star Trek Into Darkness, and Star Trek Beyond. So the one 2009, that movie, this was a promotion they had. Uh, I guess if you either you bought the cereal and then you could get points to get this, or if you got the cereal, got this, you could get something else. Uh, it seems like it's all over. It's on eBay. I, I was looking for a Star Trek T-shirt or something, and I saw this. I'm like, does look pretty good because it's uh, you know, it doesn't have the exact same pattern as the new uh, Star Trek movies, where it's basically well, the, uh, the Star Trek and Star Trek in Darkness when it has like the insignia of uh, a Starfleet um, but uh, but it's you know, it looks similar and it's actually it's actually pretty good it's uh, it's it's polyester 100% polyester and it's pretty nice actually and it looks great I like I just like the color of the command color the, the yellow gold color so uh, you know I wanted to, wanted to get that and uh, it's it's great and it's a t-shirt, so it's not a full shirt. I eventually I want to get the actual full, you know, long-sleeved uh, uniform shirt that has the uh, ranks on the the ranking rings on the uh, on the end of the of the sleeves. Come on, do it. You need a red shirt. Uh, no, don't be. Talking about I'm captain though. Captain gets gold. Oh, this is just next generation. But uh, there you go. Anyway, spe speaking of next generation, I'm at season four now. 
like episode 10 ish something like that uh, uh, past the I've just passed like oh yeah it was the one where oh what race should I play tonight I don't know Mike it's it's whatever you want to Yeah, I'm. Uh, I'm. Uh, I'm. Think of. I'm just past the episode where uh, Counselor Troy had lost her empathic powers in uh, in season four, and then she, of course, you know, whatever. I don't want to spoil it. Things happen in that episode. But either way, that's that's basically where I'm at. Uh, so. Uh, yeah, and then I'll f eventually get to the point where Deep Space Nine starts, and then I'll start watching that. And then try to work uh, through the timeline. Oh yeah, but for some reason though, you can't go past rank si 60. I think it's only the... I don't you know, on Blu-ray, while I am watching it on Netflix, so... I'm just, uh... Because they're all there, and I'm like, oh, might as well. I kind of wanted to start to watch them all because I know that as I keep, uh, except Destiny, well, I mean, you're going to know about that one soon, aren't you, Mike? Uh, but, um, Destiny, don't you mean Discovery? I don't think there's a Star Trek Destiny, I'm pretty sure it's Discovery, what you're talking about. Anyways, uh. But yeah, so because there's a lot of references of the, all the shows in the game, uh, you know, I'm trying to watch as much as possible so that I'm not like, oh, I don't understand. I'm like, mm. but now that means when I'm watching either, uh, oh, Stargate. Oh, you're talking about Star Yeah, you're, yeah, Stargate. Uh, that's, see, here's the thing. I finally was able to watch all of the Stargate SG-1. Uh, now I'm starting to work on Atlantis. Uh, I only have uh, what was it, the first season on on uh, DVD, but I've gotten season one and season two of uh, Star Trek SG One on the DVD. On the DVDs. I mean, eventually I'd l I would love to get uh, all those. All those are too. I would like. I, I Star Trek SG One is basically is is one of my favorite ones. Like that's. It's like one of my favorite shows. Um, yeah. I mean, come on, Jack O'Neil. Like, come on. <laughs> you own you own everything, don't you, Mike? I own every every uh, show, everything. There's one show I do want to get all of is Law and Order: Criminal Tent. I have season three of that one on uh, DVD. I have the first episode on DVD as well because they they do that where it's like, oh, here's episode one on DVD. Uh. But uh, that's 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 another one of my favorite shows, is, uh, Law and Order: Criminal Intent. And the first like five, six seasons, it was uh, those were some good, some good uh, episodes. Then after that, they kind of tried to do more CSI -y stuff. Just it was a little too I was like, eh, it's not, it's not, it's not the way it's supposed to be. But oh well. I want to convert to digital. Well, uh, you know. Suppose you could just uh, buy them all again, just digitally. Uh, sure, let's do this. Because why not? Even though I'm basically there. Let's read your shop. Oh, no. Is this part of it? Yeah, of course it is. Dang it. Uh huh, I understand. I am trying to get this detected. Forgot I missed one. Oh, this is going there, so it's like, hey. I 
are those white lines? You mean at the bottom? Those are, that's your, that's your, uh, what was it? Astronomic stuff? Whatever it's called. I forget what it's called. There it is. Astro, astro, astrometrics. That's what that is. Other, if we're talking about these white lines here, that's the grid for when you do your uh, daily tour of the galaxy, which you get, as you saw, random credits, energy credits, just because you're just randomly going to different systems. And so that's how I'm racking up my... Uh, I'm happy you have white lines around some sectors. Yeah, those are the ones I've completed of the tour of the galaxy that's see the see the circle here and it says right here tour of the galaxy daily well it's mushed with the other words it says daily anyways i go to those parts and, uh, and you're basically supposed to travel around to each grid and it makes it highlights the grid haven't you played this game before mike hey, you should know all this <laughs> clearly you haven't really played this game I remember that any of those missions. Well, that's how you get credits real good and real quick. Uh, and you also get experience as well. Uh, of course, Delithium mining and stuff like that, that uh, you get some experience with that. And of course, Delithium crystals, which you then convert into uh, Zen, which then you buy stuff. But yeah, so the, the 200 Galaxy is easy to get energy credits. Uh, of course, you do your astro mining, and then you do your Delithium mining claim stuff, but I don't know if you have that. Let's see, look, see, it's telling me, oh, row B, quadrant, uh, let's see, look at my experience, energy credit experience, and trade experience, so look at that. So then I just gotta go here, and transfer back to beta quadrant, and hopefully by the time I get there, I can get some stuff. I've never gotten, I have over a million credits. I have six, I have six million. I've never gotten Zen. Oh, all right. I guess you never bought any stuff from the like those ships or anything. Or, or see, see, here's some extra stuff. I am closest to this one. Let's go here. See, it tells you. Oh, uh, row A sectors uh, is this system. This system, row B. Oh, okay. It's just uh, I thought it, it's only about 15 minutes, and once that's done, then you can't uh, do the tour of the galaxy, and then you're gonna wait like an another. 20 hours basically so that you're not because then people can just cheat and constantly do this but yeah see exp exploration energy credits this is the easiest way to do it this is I, I've recently started to do this because I you know what I found out is that people are selling the um, uh, the uh, Kelvin timeline uh, Constitution class, you know, enterprise, basically. So uh, I kind of want to get that one, and it's tier six uh, ship. So there you go. Uh, so, but <laughs> so I'm basically working on getting that. But like the lowest one is like 60 million uh, energy credits. So I kind of have a lot to do. But these help. These uh, these things help. Uh, uh, doing rows and whatever. And, okay, so I guess I could went through that one. I'm trying to get the quickest one now because it's going to be ending soon. Like, like I said, it's only So I have a certain amount of time to do it. So I try to get as soon as I get the credits, and then I just go to the next one quickly. So again, because it's all time. It's all time. So I'm starting to actually, because well now that I got my external hard drive, which means I can keep all these games on there, I'm now able just to keep playing, you know, these games and other games. So, oh, see, it's, it finished. See, I, this is all the ones I missed. Through the Galaxy Daily completed. So. Because I missed those, I don't get any of those credits. Uh, 
Uh, but let's go here. Da -da 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 -da. Oh, excellent! Great to see uh, this young officer <laughs> with some initiative. <laughs> That's right. Darkly is a history of getting most uh, ship crew. Blah, 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 blah. So here, like I said, 19 hours. So it's basically 20 hours. I have to wait. So tomorrow, you just do the same thing, and then you can just keep getting credits. Of, and of course, the next thing I'll do oh, is to go. Oh, yeah, I can't do that. Eh? That's fine. Let me just go over here. That way to transwarp, but you know. Oh, well. Three minutes. Oh, but I'm going to do some of those dilithium mining stuff. And once I've done that, then I'm gonna go and start actually click missions and continuing more of the story because I haven't done any of that because I want to do that as a stream. I want to do that as a stream. Plus, if I I want to rank up, you know, as high as I possibly can before I actually start playing those because then I should be able to finish those episodes quickly or well. All right. Uh, all right. Sure that works. Why not? Oh, I guess that's the idea. Uh, okay. The only thing I just don't like actually doing the mining thing because basically mini game and it's like really kind of like kind of sucks because you really have to do what you can to get like this little like you use your thumbstick to like try to get the like, these things to match and it's just like kind of kind of sucks. Anyways, so what I'll do here I go. Oh, I don't want to destroy that. I want to use it. Yes. Next step. All right. Here we go. You can see the great fun of mining dilithium crystals. Uh, again, I'm just starting to do this, so. Uh, I just try to save as much as possible, and then I can convert them to, uh, basically just to save up like a good amount, and they can convert them to sen the Zen, and then you can actually, uh, you know, again buy different ships, buy different, you know, stuff, uh, lock, uh, key, master keys for your lockboxes, or even if you save enough, get a lifetime subscription, without even having to pay any of your own money, so, it's, uh, So you never know. Or just like different packs that you see like, ah, this seems like a cool one. And you can just kind of, if you get your Zen that way, without, again, not without spending your money. Ugh. Because I found out that all the suits are weird where you have to, uh, uh, you have to go in the inventory and then equip your suit, but then you have to activate it. It's like, why don't I equip my suit and have it activate automatically? Because I just put the suit on, shouldn't I just... How long would that take? Eh, not too long. It's just, uh, well, we I mean, a few minutes because I'm not, I don't just do the dilithium crystal mining. I also do the other mining as well. Because there's the clay mining where you get more dilithium crystals, but then if you go to the asteroid mining, which is a daily one, you get, you have to go to different spots, and you, you know, you, you get a good amount, but uh, you just have to be really good at the mini game in order to actually uh, do it. Oh yeah, that's right. Whoops. Uh, I mean this. Activate. Now I can do it. So, uh, yeah. Well here, see this, and then you go to this, this, uh, this Goomba here. Blah blah blah. I have a claim to turn in. 
go submit claim. Understood. So you just go to pick one of these. I'll just go by this person. Sometimes. Or, okay, yeah, perfect. That works fine. Okay, here. So I'll use my thumbstick to match. Either make the size, if I move up, the size goes bigger. If I move the thumbstick down, the size goes smaller. But you have to, of course, tour, move left and right to uh, make it match. Ugh. And if you miss, you have a certain amount of time to do it. So you, if you miss, you're missing your uh, a good amount of dilithium crystals. And it's just kind of, it's just a little annoying because you have to, it has very short time. And you have to make sure you line them, uh, make it at the right size, and then wait a bit, and then oh, it changes. You have to redo it. So it's just, eh. it just, it kind of is a little, you know, tedious. It just wouldn't be nice if I was able to line it up once and just stay there for however long it takes. But no, it's like, eh, eh, eh. I guess they purposely make it harder so that, you know, not everyone just just gets as many uh, uh, stuff as possible or whatever whatever goofy thing uh, oh yeah I gotta do this go here go here uh, the, uh, yeah no that's it coming in okay uh, asteroid mining hail yes okay here we go so now I have four spots that I have to do it so it's the same thing I just did but in four different areas we don't get as much because you can see the crystals aren't as big and as many but you, st you just have to do as many points. The score has to be high, basically, like this. Uh, so you have to quickly align them, make them right size, and wait. And then when it changes, you have to, uh, uh, and you can see there's a timer at the bottom. That's the overall timer. So whenever that's done, uh, you know, you basically can't mine anymore. So you have to make sure you do quickly and enough. See how I missed a bunch there? Yeah. Because I'm trying to align it. And, uh, so it, eh, you know. I mean, it's again, it's a way for you to get your zen without having to pay your own money. But it is definitely not easy to do, so, you know. But if you were to do this, like, for a whole week, you would basically have enough to, uh, because again, you can don't do this once every day. So if you do it once every day for a whole week, then you should definitely get enough to convert to uh, Zen uh, to get a good amount of Zen, and then uh, you know just purchase whatever you whatever you would like. Of course, you have to make sure you have enough Zen to get what whatever it is you want. So let's say I wanted to get stuff from uh, the next generation, or stuff from Voyager, or whatever. Either, um, you know, uh, bridge crew officers, or uh, the actual bridge itself from the Intrepid, or from Voyager, or whatever. You can uh, you can purchase those with Zen, but if you do this, you don't have to use your own real-life money. You can just use this uh, in-game way to get, you know, to get the stuff. But again, if someone were to do this, a lot and save up whatever dilithium crystal and then convert it whatever you could just get a lifetime subscription subscription and buy it with zen without actually using your own money so it's like that's kind of cool so eventually i might be able to do that like i might you know give get some money for like some zen but then have the rest be this but again it's uh, and if the more I points I get, the more extra diathem crystal I get. But if I, you know, just do basic, it's either 120, but sometimes it's just a 160 or whatever, depending how well you do. And if you goof up and you don't get as many, you just get a little less uh, diathem crystal. But again, it's not as much as the diathem uh, mining claim ones, because they're bigger. So you get like thousands instead of just hundreds. I'm sure this is the best thing for a stream though, is just watching this. <laughs> this is why I have so many viewers right now watching, because of this amazing uh, 
intention a a action pack the stuff that's going on here. It's the future. I have arrived. Oh my god, it's Dave 93. Welcome to stream and it's not by and watch me uh, tediously mine for dilithium crystals so I can convert it to fake in-game money so I can buy stuff eventually. <laughs> it's basically how it is. This is what I started to do, like at least last week. Because I'm figuring, you know what, now that I'm able to play this more often instead of uninstalling it and reinstalling it because of the stupid hard drive not working. I got a hard drive that works, so I can keep all these games. I'm like, alright, now I can just kind of play a certain amount of games that I just want to play. But of course I want to do the story mode, but I'd like to actually stream the story mode for you guys. Uh, so, you know. I just figured I'd do all the side stuff. Like this amazingness. Um, and I, I like the YouTube clip you did. What of, um, of, uh, uh, Call of Duty World War II. <laughs> of, of the very, my very first experience of Call of Duty World War II. <laughs> yeah, I know, it was, uh, it was great. <laughs> Uh, well, you know. All right, I'm gonna find around, find a way around these rocks. Oh, cause I have, yeah, I have to go around. Them. Okay. I'm excited. I bet you are. Oh yes, and David, as you can see, I've finally gotten a Star Trek T-shirt. This is from, uh, a uh, promotional thing from 2009 when the when the J.J. Abrams alternate timeline movie of Star Trek that came out in 2009. Uh, this was a promotional thing where if you bought like a uh, Kellogg cereal or Kellogg products, you can then eventually get this. I think that's what it was. Uh, I, I've never actually heard of it. So I don't know if it was just the States thing or it was just something where I had no idea. But anyways, it was part of a promotion and uh, someone has been holding on to it. And they said that you could, you, you were able to get points if you hold on to this or something. Like, I don't know what, I don't know the whole thing, what it was. But either way, someone was selling this on eBay. I was looking up Star Trek search because I'm like, I don't have anything Star Trek. I have Star Wars. I have uh, Tron. Uh, I have Halo 2. I have all these other t-shirts of other things. But it, oh, Captain America, you know, Superman, Batman, but nothing of Star Trek. So I'm like, you know, I, wanna, I would like to get one that kind of looks like uh, the uh, you know the newer Trek uniforms like this uh, of course the pattern on here is different is it's uh, not the same uh, pattern as the first two movies which had uh, the Starfleet insignia as the pattern whereas this is just you know holes basically more of a link pattern oh uh, yay um, but yeah so I, I got this and it was a pretty good price and we got here fairly quickly, got it yesterday. I was kind of excited and I'm like, now I can I have a t-shirt to wear when I'm playing Star Trek Online. Because I had stuff for, again, for Halo, for Batman, for Tron, and all that stuff. I'm like, I never had anything when I'm playing, uh, playing Star Trek. I don't have anything to wear. It's just, you know, I just put on a red shirt and I'm like, there, that's Star Trek, right? So I finally got this, so. <laughs> oh, oh, there we go. Quit you, uh, quit YouTube like PewDiePie. <laughs> That's like, I don't like. Am I? Am I? Pew am I the next PewDiePie? <laughs> I'm questioning my life. Is when, when that's what was happening in my head. Uh, when uh, when I couldn't play the Call of Duty World War Two beta right away. <laughs> it's like. Uh, it's just funny because the music of the main menu of the beta, it's like. It just worked perfectly. I'm like, oh my goodness, this is funny. This is, this works. It would have the words too. I'm thinking of like the words that goes with the music. I'm like, oh my goodness. And then it actually like fades in and zooms in with the music. <laughs> uh, but it's just like, it was so disappointing when I'm like, okay, here's my first time playing the beta and I couldn't, play it. I couldn't get past the brightness screen. It's like, really? Uh, am I done? Yes, I'm done. Okay. Yay, so I got experience, and then I got uh, expertise, so done. So again, another 20 hours, 
I come back and I do the the same amazing fun thing. <laughs> um, all right, let's uh, now let's return airlock so I can change my. Actually, you know what? Here, let's turn ship. I'll uh, show you my ship in in the costume, the uniforms that they're wearing, like my, my crew. Um, but uh, yeah. And I go, I, 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 I. it's a stir, stir ship. Anyways, I'll get out of this and I'll, I'll start to go on the actual missions. See, you know, they're wearing, they're wearing the, the new, the, the newer Trek uh, shirts. Finally, I got that. Uh, okay. Uh, right. That's what I need to do. Secure this, secure this, the, the suit. Done. All right. Now let's uh, let's, uh, let's do this. All right. Uh, sure. I'm pretty sure I'll go here for now. I'll check out the missions. Right into the sun. All right. All right, oh, oh. let's see what, uh, what we got here. Wasteland, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, installation 18, pretty sure. Did I do some of that already? I think I was going to do it, but I didn't get, I was, uh... oh no, that's right, I was dying. I think that's what it was, I kept dying or something. Oh, I don't know. We'll, we'll see what happens. What was it? I just kept dying and I just gave up. But uh, yeah. So I'll try to finish that, and if I can't, well then whatever. Technically, I can just skip to another one. But at some point, I would actually like to finish that one. <laughs> I did was uh, fly around, did my daily stuff, did the data of the mining, and now I'm doing this. That was, uh, that's, that's crazy. Alright, so I don't know how long I stream this. We'll see. Let's see how it goes. This is Star Trek Online, and this is what happens, Mike. This is, you've played this before, you know what happens. We have to travel to another place, another planet. And it's like, all right, let's go and uh, fly there. Why am I having so much fun? <laughs> because it's Star Trek, that's why. Uh, Come on. Do it. Go. Engage. Make it. Somehow I think, uh... I accidentally just said, made it sl make it slow, and they just like, Alright, we'll, we'll slow down to half impulse. Where's R2? E2?
Hmm? He's uh he's off with the uh, Jedi Master Riker. That's uh, <laughs> that's what's going on. Yes. Bin Nimbus. Bin Nimbus. Nimbus three. <laughs> Look at the final bundle in the D discount packs tab of the D at C, C store. See, so you can buy stuff with the Zen. It's but it really is funny. I don't help me. And they'll go. All right, that's where I am. Okay, here we go. Uh, no, I would like to aim at the non, like at the, yeah, at the, like the bad guys, not the, not the actual friendlies. And I, I never get that. It's like, hey, let's, I want to target something. Clearly, I want to target the, uh, you know, the, the, my uh, the people are, who are helping me. It's like, really, really. Oh boy. Oh, yeah, aim at this guy way over there, not at the guy that's in front of you. Good idea. <laughs> Again, sometimes I just, I never get the, uh, the, the, the targeting on this. Come on, guys. The guy that looks like he has a shovel. Oh, Morton has a shovel. That's, I'm trying to beat this one. If not, I will go to the next one. But. My guy, like, my shields keep going down. My guy keeps dying. But it's weird because what happens is, no matter what damage I do, it resets if I leave the area. So if I were to die and respawn, all the enemies. Uh, health goes down so I have to stay in the room that the enemies are in order for it to actually uh, uh, oh it's this one right or yeah tear at the door anyways but yeah so that's 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 what I found out because every time, because if they went outside that building and I shot them, I could I could eliminate most of the people there. But uh, whenever, whenever I had died, they basically went back in the building and all their health reset. So every time I would die, it's like I did no damage at all every single time. So it's like, um, okay, that doesn't make. Oh yeah, and sometimes these people follow me, and sometimes they don't. So I have to make sure that they actually follow me. You like see this? How quickly this is like takes them down? It's like, oh look, their health is actually going down. But like, if I left the the, the area, I'd like I'm pretty sure their health would, uh, you know, whatever, would go back. I can't shoot through there. Yeah, there you go. Ah, the nuts! The news! There we go. Oh. Saber alarm. Now I gotta go here. Oh, yeah, there's this thing, which I keep getting every single time, but uh, of course I die, so I never keep it. Oh yeah, this this fun game. There. Um. Okay, I kind of want to do this, but whatever. There we go. So, I'm just gonna take a, a little sit there. Blue blah blue blah blah blah. Let's look at things in the security console. 
Mort. Yeah, he's a crazy guy. That Morton. The test subjects are reacting well to the indoctrination procedures. Oh no, here's the alarm. We had a few casualties, as we expected. But those that survived should be able to start phase three by the end of the week. Yeah. Oh, bloop, bloop, bloop. It goes beep, boop, beep, boop. They're focusing on. They're forcing people to beep, boop, beep, boop, boop. Sarah Fleet, you talk and you talk. Well. Uh, well. Wow. Speaking of talking, that Picard guy, huh? <laughs> uh. Say it? Yeah, you good. Yeah. Oh wait, is one of my teammates stuck and not moving? I think someone's one of my, well, one of my amazing teammates aren't moving at all. Eight. No, okay. They're here. Oh! Come on. Really? Really? Oh, thank you. Look at what Morton was stuck. <laughs> what? Morton was. <laughs> oh, oh my goodness, Morton, Morton, Morton. <laughs> Sometimes it tells you. Campaign. Well, well, again, we'll see. If I can't get this one, this one I might actually have. I might need a teammate with to actually finish this one. So we'll see. And if this doesn't work, then uh, you know. <laughs> okay. Cool. Yeah, I know. Go to the. I am in a Delta Quadrant. Right? No, I'm a Bay Quadrant. That's right. Well, you know, we'll find out. Hey, look, they're all like, hey, what? And I'm like, hey, you. But look at that. Look at their wet. Like, they just get me right away. The other guys did not get me right away. Oh, my. I like the targeting again sometimes. That's not, no. That's not an enemy. All right. See, look. <laughs> my teammates in the way. I'm like, what? But it's their, uh, it's their, uh, weapons are just, oh, that's not what I wanted, but anyways. Delta is a Voyager, oh, well, again, I didn't make it a Voyager yet, I'm working on next generation. Oh, come on! We used to see, yeah. That's the problem, right? All right. Oh, you're they're, you're dead. So if I do this, I am certain that if I go back into the room, oh my goodness, that uh, their health is just reset. This is what I'm guessing. That every all the damage we did, it's like everything just resets. So it's yeah, that's the problem, right? As soon as you die, everything resets, so it's kind of like, well then, that's just great, is it not? But once you, once someone is, like, dead, then they're dead, they're, you know, can't just revive automatically, but if, if you, ha you only did damage to them, you haven't killed them yet, well then they just, uh, you know, you just go, well, nothing happened to me. And yeah, that's that's where problems happen. And things don't get done right away. Blah, blah, blah. Evil, evil, blah, blah, blah. Uh, right. Boogie, boogie. 
Oh, right. Uh, here, yes. Ooga, blah, blah, blah. All right, we are good. Let's continue, I believe. Or do I have more things this? Okay, there we go. Thank you. All right, now we can go. All right. Oh, of course. What's a super? Horton. Okay, good. Let's go. Oh, hi. Nothing's here. So close. Well then, great. Oh, I already got fatigue. Look at that. It's just amazing. Oh, we're not even here yet, but we're over here. Alright. So yeah, I just uh, have to get their weapon somehow. Well, I guess that's the thing, right? I don't have to either buy their weapon. Because I've upgraded my weapon, like, a lot. So, you know. Just, uh, I don't know. I don't know. Upgraded my shields, upgraded my health, upgraded everything. So like really I upgrade. So you know. Hell no. Okay. Oh crap, that's right. It's a dumb alarm. Keep forgetting there's always alarms. Beep -boop, beep -boop, beep -boop. Oh! Great! I was able to just right on time. Isn't that great? There we go. Okay. Oh yeah, that's right. It's like, uh, oh boy. That and this is like, that. This one's like, that. <laughs> Was this one? Look at that! I remembered it. I've done this so much, I freaking remember the code. Like, look at this. Like, come on, this is ridiculous. <laughs> like, that's how, that's how much I played this. I remembered all that. Just trying to get finish this stupid one. 
Okay. See, I don't even have things to whatever. Like, it's great. It's great. This is the tough one. Again, I have to get a certain amount. If I can get these guys easy, it's just getting. I don't know. And uh, you know, it's just. So I have to get them to like lure them away and like run away like this. And once they get lured here, then I can actually get them. Like it's so dumb. I have to do this the whole time. Like this. I have to actually make sure they die out here though. They don't. Oh come on. Well that sucks. See, I don't know if any of them actually died. Yeah, and then there's that other guy. So, by respawn, see they're gone. So that means all their health has been reset. And it's like nothing happened. It's like I didn't even, wasn't even there. And it's dumb. So you have to like, make sure they get here. It's so weird, it's dumb. It's just, uh, it's dumb. This is the only way I can do this, otherwise, you know. Oh, come on. See if I can get the commander down. And that's really... That's really who you try to get. But it doesn't matter if I'm dead. Oh, see, that sucks. Whoa! That is... Okay. Get these, give him all that, you know. See, he's gone already, so all of his health is reset. Oh, wait, no, it did. Okay. That's good. He went back. But, like, none of. Okay, that's good. That's. Oh, boy. Aw, oh, dang it. This just sucks. It sucks because everyone's gone. That's the problem. And I need to get rid of this other person. See, they're gone. They just disappear. So, all their health. Just goes back. Oh come on! Oh wait, this person's shields are okay. Well, okay, that's a good sign. But like, okay, I just hope it stays like that. Come on, Morton, get out of this way! No. As long as they can keep getting him. Yeah, that's good. If we can get the commander... Oh, crap. Stop it! Dang it. Come on. That's the problem, right? Come on. Thank you. Just because the commander is the hardest one to get. So maybe that was a glitch and they fixed that? Because it was a bad glitch where I would leave the room. Oh, we're actually get him. Because we'd leave the room and then his health would respawn, so that means I can't get him. Like, it's, it's so dumb. Oh, come on. See, he's back, but hopefully his health does not reset now. Okay, good. Oh, good. They finally fixed that. Oh my goodness. That's good. That's really good. Because that sucked. That's that's what's made this suck. Because that every time that his health respawn, as soon as he goes back in the room. Okay. Whew. Maybe I can actually do this one. I know they were doing fixes and patches. So that makes me happy. I'm a little bit, I'm a little more better now. I feel, I feel a little better now. Be nice to be able to actually like shoot him, but they just decide to stay at a wall. That's fine. I get it. I understand. Come on, come on, tuck and roll, tuck and roll, tuck and roll, tuck and roll. It's the only way I can actually like. 
Okay. Alright. Oh, just as I try to get away, too. Oh. So I'm a little bit I'm a little bit more confident now that I can actually do this. That was dumb. Okay. I can do this. I'm happy. I'm happy. I can actually do this. I can do this. Come on, be nice. Whoa, this is good. I think. Because there's two commanders, so maybe this the shields are gone, but the health, it looks like, might have went back, actually. Dang it. So I think that actually what happened last time is the health... I guess he has to still be in combat, technically, for it to really work. Yeah, that... Okay, so it is... So unfortunately, oh, the health is, does go back the way it was. All right, that sucks. That really does suck. All right, I was, I was, I was like, oh, maybe they fixed it, but no, there's. Yeah, that sucks. All right. Come on. Ah, it's that stupid other- it's those guns, they're just, like, more powerful. Okay. Somehow they're more- oh my goodness, yes, yes, get this one, get this one, get this one! Come on, just get it. Good. Okay, good. As long as we're- yeah. That's good, okay. Because then if we get the commander, that's kind of the biggest one. It's really put out mines, but they never explode when the guys are there. But anyways. Come on. Oh, come on. Stop it. See, that's the problem, is that when he gets me, then, uh, you know. As long as everyone else can get damage, then. Oh, come on. I am, like, doing my best. Come on. Come on. Come on, shoot. What are you doing? The guy wasn't shooting anyway. Oh, oh, come on. It's just Morton now. That sucks. Yeah, see that that sucks. It means all this health just respawned. Went back. Yep. It's like nothing happened. It's like we didn't even do anything. It's so dumb. <laughs> That's the problem. I don't get it. I really don't understand this logic. No, oh, come on. Uh, again, if I can't do this, I'll switch, but it's like, yeah, it's so close. I, I just, I basically need another person. I actually need somebody here, because as soon as I die, at least someone else can heal me or whatever, and then do something else. Like, that's kind of the... Enemy on I can somehow make it so that he can't get me at all. 
Ah, oh, unlike that, like uh, they can just stun him or something. Yeah, he basically has to leave the room. Or still be in combat, basically, outside the room, and then... Because he goes back to his position, and... Yeah, that sucks. Okay. I could join... Well, I mean, I guess... It's 12. Dang it. I don't want to stay up too late. I do have things to do tomorrow. Like, dentist appointment, you know? I mean, I can... I. Uh... I'll have to do this later at some point, but it's like, it's just dumb that his health respawns as soon as you die, and he goes back in his room. If he's outside the room, then it's fine. But yeah, like, it's it's just dumb. <laughs> That's the problem. See, and then it's like, okay, it's like, I wasn't even there, so I'm just gonna abort mission, go to another one, <laughs> at least progress that. Uh, and then, uh, and I'll probably be done for the night, because <laughs> I do have to get up. That's the problem, as I actually do have to get up. So I can, uh, go to my dentist appointment. I was hoping I could do that one, but... Unfortunately, I cannot. Uh, so I guess I gotta start on the Romulan. Oh! Now, okay, this is different now. Before it wasn't locked. Before you could just go to whatever. Like, I'm already on Yesterday's War. I already did stuff with this. But I guess, yeah. So now they're locked. Okay, now, now I have to actually finish these. Apparently. So... That's what that sucks. That sucks that I actually have to. Now that well they cha they changed that then because before I was able to go to whatever one and it didn't matter. I was able to start like that's how I was able to start this. I was able to start uh, this like you know uh, automatically. Where now is there like they locked it? They said, oh see I can do this one. But I probably can't do that one. So it's, uh, you know. That's the thing. It's confusing. You know. Oh, well. Um, you know, I got some stuff done. I, I, I mean, I guess the, the big thing for me to do is to do uh, a deep space encounter. Those are fun. But at some point, I do want to finish that, and I probably will have to get you, Mike, to help me out. Because, uh, yeah, it's uh, dumb. That, again, it's just like his health just resets every time I die. So, because normally you could just, you know, you would die, respawn, and then, oh, you just go back and attack. But with this, it's like, nope. And it's all, it's, it's like you never were there. So you have to kill them, one of these guys, right away. Then they're dead, then that's it. But if you just injure them a bit, and it's like, oh. Die, it's like, oh well. It's like, really? Like, really? That, that doesn't seem like it doesn't really make sense to me. That doesn't make any sense to me. Well, here's one. The other one's probably going to be done. I'll go to this one. But, uh, we'll see if something else pops up. Oh my goodness. Oof. He's actually, this, this shirt actually makes a, a good uh, pajama top. It's very nice and comfortable. So I'm like, yeah, this is a speed pajama. But once I get the full one, like the long sleeved uh, shirt, I won't, I don't think I'll use this pajama. It's probably just this. This is, this is fine. It's just a t-shirt, you know. Uh, but the other one's like, that one, that one I'm definitely gonna wear on stream. Like, all right, I'm wearing the full one. It's like, this is my off-duty, uh, shirt. Uh, is it gone, eh? No, oh, those are still there. Okay. Oh, I thought that's the... Okay, so it randomly was going to somewhere else. Whatever. Keep the new... Scooter 
a bit. Oh yeah, so here's the thing. I did get a Galaxy Class Starship, but like none of the weapons did any more damage or I couldn't upgrade the weapons more to do more damage. So there was actually another side mission thing I'm, I was trying to do, but of course this ship, you know, wasn't able to to last that long. So I'm like, all right. Well, the, I, what I'm guessing is that there's supposed to be these AI, you know, people that are supposed to help you out. They help you out earlier, but then all of a sudden they just go away behind a planet. And I'm like, uh, aren't they supposed to help me out with this? So again, it's like I need someone to help be there to help or... Um, like, I, I again, I used the Galaxy Class Starship, upgraded weapons, everything, uh, but I couldn't get training manuals to upgrade my crew uh, to, you know, get more damage or whatever, so it's like, it did, it's like, basically, I always equip the best I have, or I acquire better stuff. Well, that's the thing, right? I would have to then, I guess, buy and try to buy other stuff, but I just upgrade with tech upgrades all my stuff, you know? Uh, like here, I'll show you. Like, like there's this. This has like this is basically this has been upgraded a lot. 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 You know, then my shields have been upgraded. This has been upgraded. A pulse. Everything like everything's been upgraded multiple times, and it's still like nope. So can't do the certain ones. It's like you need another teammate there. Use Q. Tech upgrade. I've, I, yeah, well, that's, I mean, I've always used those upgrades, basically. Like that, like I would upgrade this, then I get a tech upgrade or whatever, and then I would upgrade them and accelerate or whatever, and it'd be fine. But now I don't, either don't have enough or it doesn't match it, so I can't upgrade it even more, but I, like, I upgraded them a lot. And for some reason, it's like, nope, not enough for certain ones. For, for everything else, it's fine, but only. I buy it or get it. Well, that's. I guess I'll have to. I'll have to go buy them. That'd be nice if it's like, oh, you can upgrade. That'd be great. Oh, here we go. So like this stuff here. Oh, yeah, cool. Like this stuff, I can. See, even if I die, I can just respawn, and then I will, you know, damage can still be done. So it's not that big of a deal. But it's if, like, for whatever reason, their health, like, respawns, it's like, oh, well then. But anyways. So I need to just slowly creep up on them. <laughs> now that I know that they're, like, super, super, super... Uh, heavy, whatever, so you just slow down. Okay, do this. Oh, of course I hit the wrong one. As long as you can just back up. Yeah. Oh, dang it, or not, whatever, dang it. Yeah, dang it. Sometimes, like, of course, these are the other people actually like, shooting it. So, the idea is that air, uh, their health would go down. These are the guys shooting at it. But, but again, even if I were to switch to the, the Galaxy Class Starship, it, I'd die the same way. Like, there's no there's no difference. So I guess I would have to buy, like, super duper upgrades that cost a lot. Basically. Look, so, okay, so it's kind of going down, but. That's the problem, right? as long as I don't get hit. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So, of course, this is, you know, and now I got War for a Failure. So, this is matching my, uh, my rank. But, of course, again, like... Uh, again, it doesn't matter what ship I get. I mean, the only difference is that there's slightly more phasers going on, but like, I don't know, it's, uh, 
As long as other things are shooting at it. Yeah, that's the thing. I just, yeah. Well, this one I can't really do, apparently. Come on. Because I don't think those are actual people. This is actually like, uh, this is this is a mission. This isn't what I wanted to do. I want to do deep space encounter, not a mission. I just assumed it was a mission because it's like, oh, press A to whatever. <laughs> so I quickly hit it and I accidentally went into an actual mission. <laughs> Which is like, but but that's where the deep space encounter was. It just so happened it was it disappeared when I got there. So, so I, I just so I'm just like, oh, this is where I'm supposed to go. It's, it just disappeared when I when I hit A. All right, all right. All right so let's go. Of course, it's damaged. Of course, yeah. Oops. All right. So I just have to read it so it says, um, deep space encounter. And I'm like, okay, just to make sure. Yeah, I knew that one was gonna be. One hour of really not that much <laughs> of me dying. That's what it was. One hour of me dying. That's great. Is it not? Uh. So I guess I just actually have to, you know, figure out which is the 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 better uh, shields, better upgrades, or whatever for the weapons or whatever, whatever, whatever. Come on, don't disappear. I hate when I go, oh, there's deep space counter, and it just disappears. I'm like, no. But you know, it happens. But it's weird that it shows like enemy whatever on the left side, but then in you actually not supposed to go there. You're supposed to go to where the the red blob is. It's like, oh well, okay. <laughs> All right then. That works. Cause at first I went over there, cause normally that's what you do, but then it's like, no, you're supposed to go to the red globe. Okay, these I can do. Even on my own, I can do most of these. You know. And this is where, again, I get, this is where I got most of my experience, my, you know, my uh, expertise, all that stuff. Of course, again, you get help with this, so, you know get help with these whereas uh, in missions no one can just randomly jump in and help you out like you have to be like oh part of the team invite the team blah blah but I've done it where I had to defeat the Bork by myself and, uh, and I've done it so you know.
I'll do one more and uh, oh, excuse me then I'll end the stream cuz you know you know but now it looks like I actually have to um, unlock like complete each mission to unlock it to un unlock the next one whereas before you're able just to select whichever one you wanted to uh, so you know oh well I will have to at some point attempt to finish that one again and probably have to get probably Mike to help me out. We'll see. Shield shopping. Well, it looks like that's what I have to do. Because uh, I thought, oh, I can just upgrade my shields. But well, the, the thing is, I didn't know like what to get. I don't know if it should I should I go for phasers, shielding against phasers or uh, disruptors or photon or like what all, like, all the other ones. I just didn't know like what to get to uh, as defense. So I just stuck with phasers. But apparently, it's not good for everything. So I don't know. I'm just. Uh, I guess I have to find the right shield that does distribute each one, I guess. I don't know. I don't know. Good. Yeah, this is good because you actually have people with you. Fine. Yeah, that's the thing, right? So if I if I get one that has like a certain percent of each one, that's a little better. And just you know, only someone's like, oh, ten percent uh, photon, ten percent laser, uh, ten percent disruptor. Oh boy. Come <laughs> on. 
Uh, Alright, I think that's it for me. Uh, sorry I wasn't able to actually finish an episode, but of course, like I said, uh, I'll try to get probably Mike to come and help me out with that one. Uh, of course, and uh, I, it looks like I'll just have to shop for some shields. Some personal shields, or some new ship shields, and weapons, and certain things. I guess I just can't upgrade to get, so, uh, you know. Oh well. Anyways, you know, so I'll be playing this a little more. Um, I'll be, uh, trying to, do, you know, play some more of the other games as well. But, then, you know, I'll play some more of this, uh, I'll progress it and whatnot, and, I don't know, trying to unlock some stuff, get some stuff, who knows, we'll see what happens, but, yeah. Anyways, uh, that's it for me. You know, of course, you can follow me on my Twitch channel, keep track of the different games I play, and keep track of whenever I'm going live. Make sure the notifications are up on there so that you actually find out and see uh, whenever I'm live, or when I get a new clip on there on, on Twitch or whatever. On the information section of my Twitch channel, there's a Twitter button, YouTube button, a donate button. Uh, everything's there. Uh, I'm too tired to explain it all, but you know, I just check those out and whatnot, and. Uh, <sighs> yeah. Anyways, I'll try to archive these streams as much as possible onto YouTube, so then, you know, they're always there, because for the past broadcasts on, um, on Twitch, they don't last that long. They last maybe a few weeks, and then they're gone. So at least with uh, YouTube, they're they're always there. Um, but, uh... But, uh, yeah. Uh, also, again, I'm doing clips on... Uh, which, but I'm trying to do more stuff on YouTube, more some more clips and stuff and different things. So you know, just, you just check it out, check it out there. And uh, of course, Mike is in chat doing that. Thanks, Mike. You're being a good mod, Mike. <laughs> Anyways, um, but uh, yeah, so there's that. Uh, I'm trying to do something on YouTube. Yeah. All right. Uh, I think I said everything that needs to be said. But uh, yeah, so I, you know, I do get busy with other things, so I, I, I'm not streaming as much as I'd like to, but I'm trying to get up early, I'm trying to get a schedule so that I can kind of go, okay, I, you know, I get up at 9, you know, fully awake at 10, and, you know, and then from 10 to 11 or something, or 10 to 12, I, I do stream or something maybe, or I'll work on what I need to work on, like, uh, you know, work on, the, work on the Halo movie I'd like to get done. Or work on just other things I need to, f uh, to finish for projects and editing and stuff. Uh, and then after that, you know, do a stream for a little bit and then, you know, uh, whatever else after that. But at least I'll get up early enough to, or if I, f if I get up early and like, oh, uh, I just want to do a streaming day or just stream for the morning, then I can do that now. So that's what I'm trying to do. That's, that's the whole idea. But, uh, but yeah. So that's, uh, that's what I'm trying to do. But, uh, anyways, uh, that's it for me, for now. Uh, thanks guys for watching, and I, uh, hope to see you guys later. Bye-bye.